guys this is nate and this is the nader tater channel all right so now we're out here on my trails and in fact this is my new dirt track that i just had built and the problem is you can see from this crossing sign here and the other one over there the trail used to go straight across but because of the layout of the track now we have these hills in the way so my new path across the track now kind of goes around this embankment and then back around so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need to clean out some of this junk here. This is a couple dead trees. One smaller, one's a big guy. Probably not going to... We'll, we'll try to push the big guy over. I won't be able to chop it up. The smaller one I can chop up. So I'm going to try to start the top. Just go down, chop it up, and then clean out some of this grass. Later I need to actually mow the trails. You can see they're, they're quite overgrown. So um, if you want to see any uh, videos about this dirt track, they're on my channel. Feel free to subscribe and see those but what i'm using here is my bobcat toolcat and my um, xc7 um, it's a three blade uh, brush cutter all right so it's got about a 300 pound flywheel that spins around it's got three swing blades on it they're each about a foot long five eighths inch thick uh, so it's quite a beast so it, it will uh it'll take out they say like a seven inch tree so that's about what this tree is at the base so uh let's see in, in action all right, so we're in here. I got my AC going in here. It's about 80 degrees outside, but uh, let's try to take out this big tree.
we go, we got it. So I had to push the tree a few times to get it to lean over. The problem is, you know, the push bar is a little bit proud of the where the blades hit. So if you can't push the tree over at the ground level, then you can't ever get the um, the blades to hit it. So I had to go up high and push it a few times to get it loose enough that I could come in and uh, actually hit it with those those swing axes. So um, there you go. I mean, this thing is obviously this is a hand. So. Um, you know, it's a good eight inches or so apart. I mean, sorry, across. And um, it's able to do it uh, fairly easily, you know, if you go slow like that. And I rev it up all the way um, with high flow. So that's going right close. This thing does uh, 16 to 26 gallons per minute. You know, this guy in high flow, I think it's 27.9. So I don't quite go at full RPM, but um, I'm getting it up there fairly high. Looks like I got a little bit of metal in there too which isn't the best but uh that's what happens with the brush hog sometimes i guess so if you like this video feel free to uh subscribe and you'll see some more stuff like this i'm doing everything from uh, chores with my tool cat to technology smart home stuff uh you uh you name it around my property and i try to film it and put it up on my channel thanks for watching